Hey guys, this is Matt Grizzly Outdoors. Today I'm going to show you what I do to prep a gas can for storing gas. Uh, this is more for short-term emergencies, whether like a hurricane or something like that where the power is going to be out and you see all these, all these people uh, at the gas stations you know, filling up one gallon of gas or so. I like to have some uh, on hand so I can fill up my truck if I need to without having to worry about all that. i got two new gas cans here and I'll show you what I do to prep them just to get everything ready. So we'll go ahead and start. Uh, first, I always just do a camo job on them, it just helps conceal them a little better. Uh, something I like to do on these metal cans, and I'll show you on the bottom here. I always duct tape the bottom, just quiets them up a little bit if they're in the back of the truck or on the concrete. It also keeps the uh, paint from getting scratched off and stops the rust point. I can see the duct tape wear off, and then I can always replace it without the paint getting wrecked. <coughs> Another thing I like to do is I'll add uh, Opti 2. This is what I've always used. Uh, this allows me to um, run this gas to my chainsaws, my four-wheeler, and this stuff is a smokeless, so it also runs in the, uh, in the straight engines too, so I can run this in my truck. So I always prep these ahead of time and put it, uh, put the Opti-2 in there. It is a two-cycle oil, but like I said, it doesn't smoke. You can run it in uh, straight engines, um, no problem. It does have a uh, fuel stabilizer in it. And uh, another thing I like to do when I put up gas <coughs> is I'll date, I'll put a piece of tape right here and I'll date it so I know when exactly um, I filled it. And then I will also, uh, I'll use uh, a higher end gas, I'll use like a uh, uh, premium or something like that. That way, like I said, I can run in my four wheeler, my snowmobile, stuff like that. So I just figured I'd show you that guys. Um, and these are cans I got from Oh, too close. From Sportsman's Guide, these are the military metal cans. Um, if you go there right now anyway, they're they're like 26 bucks a can, which isn't too bad. I'm going to be trying some of the plastic ones to see if those are any different. But these store nice, uh, gets a good seal, and really uh, really does a good job. So I figured I'd show you that, guys. Just a few ideas that I do for prep. I said I tape the bottom so it keeps the paint uh, a little nicer. And uh, doesn't chip out. I know these cans can take a beating, guys. I mean, they can they can be thrown around real good. I've got some old ones that are pretty well trashed, but on something new, I'd wanna I wanna make sure that I can make it last. You know, that way, if I see the ta tape wear off, I can replace it and just keep them nice. It'll be a good steward of what I've got. And then uh, that's about it. Just a good good fuel stabilizer. I don't recommend Stable. Uh, when I was a mechanic, I saw a lot of engines come in with Stable in it that uh, they're all gummed up and stuff. So try to find, uh, what I like is this Opti oil or uh, Seafoam. Those are my two recommendations. Um, but something like that, just get in your gas. Typically I don't let it go more than six six months, eight months, and I'll throw it in the truck and just fill something else, or fill it back up with something fresh. So, But if you need to go a year and a half, two years with some good, uh, something like Opti 2 or uh, uh, sea foam it'll it'll last pretty good especially if you're using like a premium type gas so if I could quickly show you that guys have a good afternoon uh, any questions comments or suggestions that you guys have uh, this is just what I do for gas so I'm sure you guys have other things that you do and some that might work better uh, please comment below and let me know I'm always open to new ideas and always looking to learn so thanks guys have a good afternoon